So, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Ahmed Al Abbasi, and welcome to the Mahali Gita International School DL program. And this is the first day in your week. Stay home, stay safe. And today, inshallah, we're going to start uh, our review, our final review for the summary writing. We've been studying summary writing for four sessions up to now. This is the fourth one. Okay. So, I cannot leave it until I'm sure that you are done with it. Actually, last time we gave some notes and we studied these notes together and I saw the results. Actually, it was promising. Uh, I had some good results, I had some good summaries and I had some bad summaries actually. So today we're going to have a quick review for techniques of writing summaries again. But the main event for today, the main hit was going to be, it's going to be like, I'm getting pieces of your writing, some samples, and you're going to discuss these samples with me. Okay? First of all, you know that summary writing, we need some techniques. Okay? Uh, we have some uh, paraphrasing. Paraphrasing means to say something in a completely different way. Okay? But it has the same meaning, so it has to be the correct meaning. And we have some samples of paraphrasing, like, I said a story before, and you just paraphrase uh, this story. You give me different meaning. And here for this example, it's better to prevent something, uh, something unpleasant from happening than try to put it right away or right forward. It means to prevent it. Um, prevention is better than cure. You can paraphrase in different ways. Where different, your minds work in different means, in different ways. So you can paraphrase to deliver the meaning in different ways, but it must be the correct way. Okay. We also have this. Just a minute. We said that paraphrasing is important because it gives you better meaning and easy meaning. And you will practice this with me right now, actually, because some of you still can't do it. Still. Um, get copies, get some pieces of the text and just paste in the paper, and this is wrong. Condensation, condensation means to say something something long in a short way. You just remove the extra, like you use synonyms. Instead of saying a big sentence, you use one or two words to suppress the meaning. Like he had a good command of English. He knew English very well. Like when I say he got um, a lot of medals, he got a lot of cups, he, in, in, um, he's so perfect in riding horses and so on. So in a simple way, I can say that he's a champion in horse riding. You got it? He's so skillful in horse riding. And instead of telling a whole story, I have to condense it in one line. Okay. Uh, you can change the structure of the sentence, as we said. If you read a whole paragraph, a complete paragraph, you must summarize it in a simple way. Give me the core, give me the main idea around it. Okay? Back again. You can change the structure of the sentence from complex to simple, as we said before. As we're gonna see in the examples right now. You can combine some sentences. As I said, you can combine the whole paragraph to make one sentence. We had two approaches and we said, forget about the systematic way because you mess around it. You just use it in the wrong way and you get pieces of the text and stick them together to have something that looks like a summary, but it is not a summary. We go to the magical approach. The magical approach, we said, you just use your natural skills that Allah gave you naturally, by the way. You didn't do anything. Uh, you just remove the extra details that you don't need. They don't deliver the meaning. And you go for the meaning, the core. And you do this naturally, by the way. Uh, the magical step, the main idea of the magical step or the magical approach is to read, to understand. You have to understand. If you don't understand, you'll have some wrong statements in your paragraph as you, as you will see in the following examples some of you didn't understand parts of the text and wrote a wrong information yes you enlisted wrong information 
in, in the summary. And this is wrong because the summary, the main idea of the summary, that you're telling someone who didn't see the original copy of the text. You're telling him this piece of information in a short, condensed way, paraphrased, condensed way. So if you're delivering this piece of information to someone who didn't see the original copy, you have to be honest about it. You have to be accurate and you have to be objective. Okay, so you have to read to understand very well. And after that, you have to flip the page, cover the page, hide the text, whatever you're doing, and try to remember. When you remember, try to remember fragments. Remember fragments. And you must do this one paragraph by another. You don't have to do the whole text, okay? You read the whole text for an understanding person. After that, you get it one paragraph by one paragraph. So this one, uh, for this magical approach, you read the whole paragraph to understand it, cover the text, and try to remember fragments. Try to remember the, the main spots, the main ideas. Try to remember what, what were the key words, okay? And the, these key words, or these fragments that you're going to write, you must make sure that they are related. And here I'm going to put like 100 lines. Your sentences must be according to one scale. This scale is, is it related to the topic? If it is not related, don't take it. It must be related to the topic. If you're writing about a Christmas island and you're writing suddenly about, um, for, first, when you're writing about the Christmas island, you must write about oddities, as we have in this text. And all of us agree that we must write about oddities. This text is about oddities. So if you find yourself writing a sentence about the ice cream, that's, uh, that's sold on, on the island for tourists and so on. No, it's not related to the oddities. If you speak about, um, for example, some of you added a piece of information, yes, about the date it was discovered or the person who discovered it. Actually, I'm sorry, it is not related to the oddities. You go, you go for this meaning. Any sentence you write, any topic, any idea that you add, any supporting idea, you must, Major, oh, really? Is it related to the topic? Is it related to the oddities? If it is not, don't take it. It's a waste of space and a waste of limit. You have a word limit. After you write fragments, okay, you have to make the content list, as I showed you before. I showed you before this content list. It's a group of fragments together, not complete sentences. And here you start your writing. This is the content list because actually four of you only in the whole grade, four of you gave me the content list. I don't know why. I don't know, you don't like it? It's good, look, it helps you. It's like the bridge told me. You can't go without it. You have to go with the content list. This is the guideline. Without it, you would be lost. Again, for the content list, what is the content list? The content list is a group of fragments, group of fragments, that you get from the paragraph and you write it in this form, in this format. Again, if you forget it right now and when you're doing your homework, you forget the shape, okay, you can get to the video at the end of the day. You're gonna find it uploaded into, on the YouTube, you got it? Um, you can see it. You can just type a content list on Google search. So please do not forget your content list because the next time you forget your content list, you will lose marks. And I think I give you enough chances for this. So the content list is part of your summary. Again, what are the features of the content list? It has to be of fragments. It has to be at least, at least eight points. In the exam, your summary is marked um, for the content. The examiner is searching for six points related to the topic. But you don't know your, your points are related or not. So you have to make sure and you secure yourself by adding eight points, at least eight points. What about the content list? For example, here, if you're speaking about oddities and we search about oddities, you're gonna find 10 oddities in this text. Yes, in this text of Christmas Island, you will find 10 oddities. No one of you up to now, no one, No one from you added more than four oddities or five oddities, I'm sorry, five oddities. 
five only from 10. What about the other five? No one came to them. No one came across them. Why? I don't know. So you have to be careful with this. Your content list is one important part of your summary. You can never drop it. And I think I gave you enough warning for this. Next time, your evaluation will include the content list. Back again. This is your content list. Nine points for the text that we explained last time for the shipwreck survivor. And remember, in your summary, you do not need these points. You do not need um, any direct speech. Okay? You do not need any examples, comparisons, any illustrations. You don't need any opinions or personal comments. You don't need any conclusion paragraph and no introduction paragraph. Please, please, because some of you did this. They added an introduction paragraph and a conclusion paragraph and a body paragraph. This is not a summary. The summary must be one paragraph. It has the opening sentence, which is the introductory sentence. It's one sentence in the beginning that has the topic idea. Okay, um, that for example says that a Christmas island is a tiny island in the Indian Ocean that has a lot of oddities. Huh? That's the topic sentence. It has the main idea that we're going to speak about a lot of oddities. So your main idea is your introductory sentence, not paragraph. And of course, at the end, there is no conclusion paragraph. You do need to cut corners. As I said before, cut corners, it means to just omit important information as most of you did. 10 oddities and no one gets more than five of them. Now you cut corners. Now we remove important details. If I, I didn't see the text and I'm asking you to summarize it for me, that means you're not honest. You forgot about half of the details of the text. So you have to be honest, uh, objective, and you never cut corners. Examples, simplify the descriptions, eliminate any repetition, and compress your words and condense everything that you have. One important thing that actually, let's say 70% of you didn't do it. Actually, you forget about, you forget about the transitions. Yes, the connection between sentences. You just get some sentences, some ideas, and you put them without connection. For the voice section, for example, as you will see your report after each summary, you'll find this sentence. You have to connect your sentences using some conjunctions. And I give you some examples in your report. And you report uh, over there, you have a full description of your mistakes. So you have to connect your transitions. Okay, and you have to avoid figurative language. You, you don't have to add any simile, metaphor, personification, idioms. So don't add these figures of speech. Now, that was the example that we had. The content list, the final product. And I don't know why, just why, some of you, when they finish, actually, they just threw the summary in my face. You know, this feeling that, yeah, I finished, go, just on that. Guys, there's a stage that you forget about. You forget about revision. Yes, revision. You have to revise for the content and you have to do proofreading for spelling mistakes, grammar mistakes, and punctuation mistakes, you have a lot of work to do at the end. So don't just throw it in my face like this and let me fix your mistakes. It takes me a long time to fix all these mistakes. So 
you have to be careful with your writing and you have to go for revision and proofreading before you submit your answer. And by the way, for all of you, for girl section and boy section now, you have to be careful. We don't know what's going on. Yes, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next week, there will be a decision like all the students will be graded according to the performance for this period of time. There will be no exams. Maybe there will be no exams and there will be evaluation for your performance. So when I print a report, a report from the website, okay, this report will include your homework, your evaluation, your grades, your marks, your attendance on the website. Do you get in the website or not? Do you finish all your tasks or not? This report will give you marks. You'll get what out of what? So you have to think about it. Don't let yourself going like that until the time comes and you will regret. Be careful. And you, if you want any sample for the boys section, if you want any sample for this report, you can just contact me and I will print it for you and send it to you. You got it? So you have, you have to finish all your tasks on the website and you have to finish them carefully. Don't just submit any answer and after that you will get a big zero. Actually, um, I have to say it here and right now, um, two of my students got me disappointed yesterday because I did not expect they're doing this thing. They, I'm not gonna say their name now, but if they repeat this or anyone else repeats this, your names will be said publicly in a lecture like that and you will get a note to your parents regarding this issue. You copied and you, you both of you, you know yourselves right now, you, you listen to me, I can see you right now. Um, you copied from the internet and you just paste in the, the answer box and you submitted the answer. I wish you never do that again. I sent you a report about this with the link of the website that you copied from. Never do this again, you or anyone else. Now, I just said this warning for you and for others. There will be no other chance for anyone to do this. I hope you got it. And Let's move back again. After you finish your summary, you have to, I'm sorry for being so severe with you uh, because I can never pass this point of summary unless you're perfect in it. So, and I think you're close to, uh, you know, you're almost there, okay? Today we're gonna finalize it, inshallah, we're gonna finish everything. Back again, here after writing, you have to go through addition and drafting, you have to go through all of the draft that you had. You have to go through proofreading and revision, revision for your content. You have to check the ideas that you have, if they are related to the topic, as we said or not, if they are connected or not. And after that, you go for proofreading for spelling mistakes, the grammar mistakes and punctuation mistakes. Okay, again, now, the Christmas Island. Open your books. This text, we're going to see it for the last time today, inshallah. Okay. Forget about this sample. I have good samples for you. Now, look at this one. I think you can see it clear. Now, I'm going to have some hands up for comments. I'm going to take your comments first, and after that, I'm going to say my comment. Okay? Now, who has a comment about this summary? Video. Okay, make sure that you mute all your mics. Okay. Hello. Miriam, you can speak. You can unmute yourself. Oh, okay. Um, it contains unnecessary details. It contains unnecessary details. Yeah. Good. Yes. Yeah, that's completely right, actually. Could Thank you. Make a note of that. It has what? 
We could omit most of that. Actually, we, we need to omit it all. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Now, the second hand will be for, um, I saw safe here. It was here. Good. Abdurrahman Al Kurdi. Yes, Mr. Yes, I'm waiting for your comments. It doesn't contain a content list. It does, yes, that's one important thing. It doesn't have a content list. So, how come you have some ideas without the content list? You got it, thank you. Dio, uh, you have the mic? Yes, Mr. Yeah. All the, all the summary is not is the unnecessary words and the sentences, and there's no any oddities. Maybe just the flying fish. And he didn't write anything about it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ahmed Omar. Ahmed Omar, are you here? Yes. Yes. Do you have a comment about this? Yes, uh, all the summary for this is just to write. Christmas Island to the Stein Austrian speck in the Indian Ocean. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, back again. Um, for this part, it was the first, actually, it was the first summary that I had when I tried to correct or check your summaries on the website. And that was copied from the internet. Uh, the student here just plugged into Google, he went to Google and typed Christmas Island and the first, no, the third, the third result that came in front of him. He just opened the website, copied the first five lines and pasted them like this. Okay, that's completely copied from the internet and uh, it doesn't have any related information. It doesn't speak about the articles. It doesn't have any topic sentence. It doesn't have a content list. It doesn't have anything in anything. So that got a zero. Now, before we go to the real examples, I want to show you something here. Look at this. I told you that we have 10 oddities on the Christmas Island, is it right? So what are they? Because some of you didn't see these oddities. Number one, the red crabs. They are found in huge numbers. Giant crabs. The monstrous crabs, okay? The crazy ants, golden bosom. And that's very important. Actually, one of you just gave me an example or mentioned the golden bosom. So that's the simple. That's the logo of the of this island. And you forget about it. So the springs, the springs of hot water that makes fountains of water, okay? Cliffs. And here in cliffs, we have two pieces of information. We have the red of the cliffs and the reservoir cliff. We have about the whale sharks. And that's very important. No one mentioned them. And the whale sharks swim near Java Trench. Now, a lot of divers go there to, to just to enjoy diving and take some pictures. Stonefish, the beaches, that are people free, they are not busy, they are not crowded, they are unreachable, you can't reach them easily, unless just you go, we have one beach, which is fish, flying fish alcove, I think, so just one reachable beach, and the others are unreachable, and you're going to speak about the crystal water, crystal clear water on these beaches, so these are the 10 oddities, on the island. Now, for all of you, take a second to look at them and see. Oh, some of them, before, you see them for the first time. Some of them, you, you didn't notice that they are there in the text, by the way. So, back again. We're going to have an exercise before we go to the samples. I'm going to take each one of them and ask you to make one sentence. One simple sentence. If my topic idea or my topic sentence is going to be that Christmas Island is a tiny speck in the Indian Ocean that has a lot of oddities or has a host of oddities. That's my 
topic sentence. That means all the ideas after that, all the supporting ideas must support this, must speak about the oddities. So I need one hand for the red crabs. Just make one sentence about the red crabs. Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman Kurdi. Abdurrahman, do you copy? Hey there, no hands? Rowan? Rowan Matuk? We can speak. They are found all over the island. Yeah, I need one complete sentence about their crabs. The crabs are almost found everywhere in the island. Thank you. That's what I need. Just one simple sentence. Red crabs are found everywhere on the island. Some of you get dragged after the information and tell me that they are found everywhere on the island um, except the beaches or something like, uh, but not the beaches. So why not the beaches? Don't get dragged after the information. Don't go, go and complete like the text. Get the main idea only. Don't copy the whole part and just put it in the summary. Get your own idea, your own sentence like Rowan, like what you did right now. Thank you very much for this. You said that the red crabs are found everywhere on the island with huge numbers. Thank you. Now, the next idea for giant crabs is going to be for um, just Miriam and Rowan with hands up. What are the others? Okay, Miriam. You can see. Um, the roper crabs are uncommon beasts that have the crazy ants as enemies. Wow, you joined two of them. Yes. That's good. So the giant crabs are, you said the giant crabs are uncommon beasts? Okay. Yes. And um, they have the crazy ants as their natural enemy. Yes. That's right. Or natural predator. Excellent. Up to now, we're going very well. So, will you add after that the idea about the crazy ants? Were, uh, were just, um, uh, let's say, brought to the island uh, carelessly and so on, and the whole story of bringing the, the crazy ants and how they, they act with the crabs and so on. Will you add this idea? I don't think we need this idea that most of you added in your summaries. This idea about uh, how the crazy ants are brought to the island and how they deal with other creatures. No. You say that the oddity is the crazy ants, and that's it. You got it? After that, I need another hand for the golden blossom. Okay, for this, Ahmed Omar. Ahmed Omar? You have the mic. Ahmed Omar. Yes, Mr. Yes, can you give me a sentence about the golden blossom? It's golden blossom is only found in this island. Yes. Golden blossom only lives here and and found nowhere. Thank you. That's enough. You can say that the golden blossom is a unique bird that you can see only on the Christmas island. That's perfect. Thank you. Now we're going to take another hand for the springs. Have you seen the, the part about the springs on this text? No one. Good. So you have one part about the springs on this text that tells you that uh, you can get wet by the water splashing from these springs that keep um, just getting fountains of water all the day. The cliffs. Have you seen the part about the cliffs?
Hamad's name. Muhammad Salim, are you here? I'm not. Okay, you're not here. So, Abdurrahman. Okay. <laughs> Ahmed Umar, you can take it. You say in the text it is written, written about the about the springs in the dragons breeding. Yes. Breeding the dragons. writer here said that um, you may think breeding that you dragons. Have dragons. Yes, uh, the writer the writer said it in his way that you may think that we have dragons on the island because of the water. Um, coming out of the springs and so on. That's the way the writer said the information. You understand from this story that, uh, let's say, fiction, this unreal story about dragons, that you have dragons because of the scene that he described. You must not say the same story. You must avoid copying. You have to say it in your own way. You have to tell me what you understand from this story. You understand that you have springs and you have cliffs that are riddled and they are sharp razor, or razor sharp. So you have to put these pieces of information in a sentence by yourself, using your own words. You got it? Don't even use, try to use the vocab that the writer used in this part. Don't, use, try, uh, don't try to use his imaginary here, um, uh, expression, his image. As we said, we must drop all the figures of speech. And so when you have to take each one of them to make a sentence. Each one, you take it to make a sentence. I hope you write it right now or take a picture or just uh, take a screenshot, anything. Try to copy these 10 points or you'll find them by yourselves in the text to have a complete summary on them. And you must never forget any one of them in your summary. You can combine sentences, connect them to make your writing more condensed and shorter, but you must include all of them. Now, back to your examples to get your comments. Now, this one, hands up for comments. Okay. Abdurrahman Ahmad Mustafa, you have the mic. Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman is not here. So let's take the uh, Dio, are you here? No, I'm sorry. I don't have any comments. Good. Now, what about, what about, what about um, Hanin? Are you here? Okay, Hanin is not here. What about Toka? I'm happy to see your hand up. Oh, thanks, Mr. I yeah, think it's okay. it's okay. I think it's you okay to write. You have the content list? Yes. That's right. It yes. looks short, it looks condensed, and so on. Okay. Yes. So, Roka, stay with me. Okay. Can you read the first sentence for me, please? Okay. Christmas Island, located in the Indian Ocean, was found by William Minnows. Tasmania. Oh. Thank you. Now that's the first sentence that must be the introductory sentence and the topic sentence. And that means the whole paragraph 
will speak about the Indian Ocean uh, Island that's found by William Miners. Yes. Just you can speak about the location, about the people living there, about their habits, about 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 about, about, about a lot of things. But you here as a writer, okay, the writer here didn't say anything about the oddities. Yes. So I think the topic idea here, the topic sentence, is not related to the, the main purpose we're writing. It's not related to the reason why I ask you to write the summary, the main idea of the summary. So the whole paragraph will be unrelated. You see, that's how the examiners do it in, in writing sessions for IJCSE, if you're planning to get your education into a further step. This is how it's done. They go first for the contents. They see, is it related or not? You have a content list that speaks about huge crafts, rare golden blossom, land-dwelling crafts, um, huge, ugly, monstrous crafts. Actually, it's the same. Jets of steam spurt out of rock and Kelly Razor Shop. I, I like the content list of this writer. He wrote it in his own words, like fragments, and that's perfect. But he only got six or seven. Six. He got only six points, and this is not enough. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Tukot. Thank you very much. Um, by the way, if we end the meeting, we'll end up in seconds. We go back to the sim link, or I will send you another one. We will complete, inshallah. Okay? So, back again. So, uh, the content list is there, but it is not enough. The topic idea is not there. You didn't have a topic idea. He said after that, that it has many oddities. You can join this in the first one. You can see this here. Look at this. So, here, 